Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. <laughs> oh, good morning, everybody. We had a stinking hot day yesterday. And today is all cloudy and overcast and absolutely beautiful. Okay, I had a, um, I've got a request for um, Shane uh, on lithium battery install 7, programming the BMV 702 and the MPPT uh, 130 Victron charge controller. Um, I have asked him to leave his email and I'd send him the photos, but um, I know privacy is a concern when you do stuff like that. So I've decided to make you a little video, Shane. Um, and what I'm going to do is just go quickly through the settings uh, on, on the iPad and then I'll have my, photo, my wife photograph the settings and I'll put them all at the video, at the end of the video. Okay, Doug. We're going to start with the battery, with the uh, BMV702, which is also the same for the BMV701, and the new battery monitor. Okay, don't worry if you can't see it properly. We're taking photos. All right, so that's the battery settings. Uh, that's the miscellaneous settings. Um, that's what I have settings for display. That's about it for that, okay? What about relay? What about relay? Relay's nothing, Ziggy, it's turned off. I don't use the relay on that. All right. Okay, now we move to the um, Victron MPPT charge controller. Okay, this is the status page. This is what it reads okay then you've got trends all right we actually want to go to in here uh, battery oh look at that i need to update people i'll be back in a minute okay doke it's finished updating okay so um i'll just go back to the start that's the status Okay, now there's, I've got, don't worry about the uh, solar voltage or anything like that because I am underneath a veranda. Okay, that's my current battery volts, amps, and off. Okay. All right. Now let's go into battery. And into battery, you can see my settings there 12 volt, 30 amp. Um, charger enabled battery lithium iron phosphate you, you select that by going in and actually selecting that battery okay expert modes turned off Absor absorption volts for these batteries 14.20 float voltage 13.50 okay everything else equalization is all disabled okay Low temperature cutoff is 5 degrees Celsius. Okay, I've set that limit. All right, I can, if I'm in a colder climate, you can set it colder, but it's because of the, free, uh, the uh, fridge and freezer that are in this trailer, it never gets, and, and because the batteries are at the end, over there where the uh, fan outputs are, I never have to worry about them getting too hot or too cold all right so that's battery settings 
Uh, load outputs is always off because that's the load output side um, for street lights or something like that. Okay, that's off. Uh, street light mode um, is disabled. Uh, TX port function is normal communication and uh, VR smart networking. I don't have the VR smart networking device. You don't need it um, for um, this particular setup and that's off. And basically that's it. So uh, Shane, um, that's the settings. My wife's going to take photos of it all now and we'll attach it to the end of this video. I hope that covers whatever you wanted to know. And uh, happy caravanning, my friend, with um, a two battery lithium setup like this. You have a lot of power, a lot of power. I mean, we run electric blankets uh, really successfully. We, uh, the induction cooker worked absolutely great and it'll be coming on our next camping trip as well as a gas stove for the simple reason induction cooking can't cook crumpets. You'd actually need, you know, to cook the crumpet. Um, but yeah, you know, I, 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 I know um, a, a lot of subscribers aren't really into my camping videos and, and, and my uh, setup, but look, there's lots of ways to do solar um, and to include solar in your life. Uh, my wife and I both absolutely love and enjoy going into the Australian Outback camping and um, and, and I, I love taking solar into that because it's just made our life in the bush absolutely fantastic you know I mean um, absolutely fantastic and, and um, so far well, yeah, wait till the next camping trip, people. We're going to some real, real rough out-of-the-way places into the uh, little sandy and great sandy deserts. We're going to take you to some beautiful um, native art sites and some very, very extremely isolated uh, fresh water holes. And... Um, yeah, that's our plans for winter here. So we're, we're, we're going to have an absolute ball out there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I love bringing you along with us, you know. Um, so, okay, keep safe, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>